Here's Victoria and Mark with an AMI This Week shortcut. Mark, what is your favorite segment on ATW? That is a difficult question, but I'd have to go with Lunch Bites. Oh yeah, I'm always so jealous when the reporters get to go and try all that amazing food for work. I'm just waiting for an episode on burgers. Oh, well you're in luck. Before he went on vacation, our very own Anthony McLaughlin went to Zeal Burger in Weston Village where he got to try one of Toronto's best burgers. I'm outside Zeal Burger in Weston Village on the west side of Toronto and today I'm going to go inside and try one of the best burgers in all of the city. Let's head on inside and find out what's the big Zeal. I'm now sitting inside Zeal Burger with the owner himself, Mark Gopros, and today we're going to be learning all about your burgers, but first things first, I want to know about your store name, Zeal Burger. How did that come to be? Uh, zeal is very simple. It's uh, the meaning of zeal, it means enthusiast, passionate, uh, it's something that's exciting in someone's life, and uh, I have a zeal for burgers. I've always loved burgers ever since I was a kid. I always made burgers when I was at home, uh, and I decided to go that route because it's a childhood dream to have my own burger joint. And uh, what inspires your menu? Our menu uh, is inspired from around the world. So uh, I try to take inspirations from uh, the five continents. Uh, we're obviously not covered all five of them yet, but um, we have a North American, we have a European, we have a South American. We're working on a Middle Eastern uh, and obviously our signature burger. And the signature burger is? The uh, signature burger is the, the OZ, AKA the Z Burger. Uh, it's a lineup of uh, the Z Burger fam. And what, is it, what goes into the Z-Burger? What makes it like a fan favorite? Uh, it, it's our take of a double Big Mac, pretty much. And it's a double cheeseburger, our signature Z-Sauce that we make in-house. These crispy onion strings that are a barbecue chip fell in love with an onion ring and created these crispy onion strings. And you got some pickles, lettuce, and tomato on top. Unreal. That's awesome. Uh, do you have like a, like a philosophy that goes behind making such a consistently great burger? Yeah, uh, um, our, our vision is uh, we're not trying to reinvent the burger, but perfect it. And that's all we're trying to do. So when you wake up every morning and you come in here, what's your process? Uh, we, we hand cut our heat meat in house, we grind it, uh, double grind actually, and roll every single patty. Uh, obviously this is not a process that's done only once a day, uh, but done <laughs> a few times in the day. Um, we don't pull anything out of the freezer, so when you run out at the end of the night, it's, uh, it's heartbreaking when you have to turn away some guests and tell them we're completely sold out. But hopefully they'll come back the next day. They always do. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's head back into the kitchen because I cannot wait to try one of let's these. Go. Awesome. We always toast our buns on the grill. Um, obviously, we try to get the buns on there before the burgers. Uh, you need to toast both sides of the bun. We're gonna check these buns. These buns are nice and toasted. Give them a nice little flip. Once I see the buns are actually nicely toasted, we're gonna drop some patties. So our meat, straight meat, a bit of kosher salt, both sides before we grill it. So our burgers that are um, rolled into a four ounce uh, ball, uh, once they're put on there, we're smashing it from the top right down and just gonna um, spread it out past the spatula just enough so that it could go around the burger bun perfectly. We make all our sauces in house, of course. Our jalapeno mayo, our tzatziki, our spicy tzatziki, which we're gonna do on our Dunamis burger. Hope you like it hot. All right, these burgers look great. We're gonna start flipping them. Oh, look at that crust. I use um, a, a scraper, uh, literally that is, uh, they, they find in Home Depot and we just use that to scrape right off and take all that meat off of that hot grill and flip it over. So you have a perfect crust on the top of every single patty. Wow, let's bring these up top for you guys. All right, I'm sitting back at the table and Mark has whipped me up a feast. We have four different burgers here. We've got the Royal Z Burger, the classic Z Burger. We've got the Chef's Dunamis, a little bit of a tweak on how he serves it up on the menu. We've got a plate of fries, of course, and the original, the OZ Z Burger. I'm gonna get into it. Mmm. This is incredible. He, he described it perfectly. It's crispy on the bun. The bun doesn't overwhelm. 
the meat, you bite into it, and you'll rest it on the flap top long enough to get this perfect crispiness to the burger, but it's still juicy. It is so good. And those crispy onions, they are so good on top of the two patties, the cheese, you've got the lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, the zeal sauce. This, the combination is unbelievable. That's why you have to stop by Zeal Burger and take a bite. So Mark, how did that burger sound to you? Mark? Uh, uh, sorry, Victoria. I was just uh, daydreaming about stuffing one of those Royal Zeal Burgers into my mouth. Uh, good choice. I'm actually interested in trying the Dunamis Burger. If you live in the West End or you're visiting Toronto sometime soon, be sure to check out Zeal Burger. It's easily accessible from the Weston Union Pearson Express train station.